Okay, so I'm going to see if I could bag some because this is three times the amount that what I usually get. And I, uh, I'm i beginning to fear to feel that... Actually, there's one that's cracked here. When it's cracked like that, it's, you can't be saving it. Even though it's through here that they go bad. But this open like that is not good. So I'm going to have to put this in the fridge. So let's see how good a job I'm going to do here with these bananas. Let's see. Well, maybe I could make it three per bag. Because uh, they would last, but this is way too many bananas for me to eat in like uh, the span of a, a week. Normally, uh, they last. They lasted me about seven to eight days last time by doing this method, right? But it was one third of this amount. So I think I want uh, to preserve them. You could do the same thing with avocados, by the way. So, okay, so three per bag. Okay. And here we go. So, wipe it down a little bit. I did flour with this last time. And I'm going to go back to doing flour because I forgot about a whole bag. Okay, so here we go. This rough side goes up, just so you know. And uh, you got to use the bags that the that come with the machine, which you have to order separately. They'll give you a few sample ones. But here we go. Uh, dry. Boom. I've never done bananas. I've done only flour, and flour is supposed to be the most challenging. Now this light's gonna go on. There we go. Seal light is on. And boom. See that? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna need a few bags for this. I think it's worth it. This is gonna last. Nice, nice and tight. So I'll do the amount that was over on overage uh, only because I know that one of the packages would last that long for sure. It lasted for me seven to eight days. But the reason why I'm really doing this because I could smell the bananas. It's not really because I think it's going to go bad, but you smell the bananas psychologically, you think they're going to go bad. Um, since it's so many of them, now I can smell them, right? And I'm put, this time I put it in my dining room table and uh the smell is up my nose all the time where before i had it away so i figured let me just take care of it right there we go oh something's wrong something's wrong because typically this is too high too close to the top tire. You gotta hear both clicks. And here we go. You hear that? It's shrinking. So that's gonna keep the smell away. I don't want to apply, uh, attract flies. If I open the door, leave it open even for a second, they're all going to come in after the smell, probably. So, let me go get some more bags. I bought a set of 200 for about, uh, I think it was $17, was it? Or was it 27 But it's worth it. Okay, so now we see the bananas. They are all vacuumed up i'm gonna leave these four because these will last for about eight days because they have this plastic top um i didn't have to do uh package as many uh as i did but it keeps the smell away so um i guess because it's starting to warm up here it's not the winter and when i started doing the tips only it was in the winter and it never got to me um, <laughs> i was gonna say maybe i'm pregnant but no that's a stupid joke um anyway um 
So you could do it either way, right? You could do it this way. Look how beautiful. Okay, they're going to stay just like that for a while. And you could do the same thing with the avocados. Okay, see how brown that is? Well, it's going to last just the way it is. You save money because when they, when the, the, you, the store wants to get rid of them. So I paid I paid $3 for, for all of these bananas, including, you know, the, the, the ones at the end. All of this. Okay, I already have two of them. And here's another one that has got a little split, so it's going in the fridge. Okay, but all of these bananas, I paid 